and the downing here of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17. It was a double dose of tragedy for the airline's workers coming just months after the disappearance of Malaysia Flight 370. You know, we, we talk a lot about post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, when it comes to our men and women um, in uniform. But what about these airline workers, particularly flight attendants? Are they at risk for PTSD? Let me bring in Professor Jeffrey Lating from the Psychology Department at Loyola University uh, in Maryland. So, Professor... Welcome to you, and you know we, we wanted to talk to you because I know you studied how flight attendants coped after the, the tragedy of 9/11, and here you have MH370, MH17, not to mention you know the crash off Taiwan yesterday, this this crash in uh, Africa mm -hmm. today. I mean, I know flight attendants are total pros, but this has to impact them. Yeah, I mean, it certainly is something that we didn't realize the work that we did uh, 10 years ago would have an impact now. What did you find? Well, part of what we found is the um, level of improbable post-traumatic stress disorder among American Airlines flight attendants. That was the, uh, the flight attendants we studied. Um, and as you recall, the, uh, the American Airlines flight attendants were particularly impacted. The flight that hit the North Tower was an American Airlines flight. The flight that hit the Pentagon was an American Airlines flight. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, Brooke, there was the, uh, the incident that happened in November, on November 12th, with Flight 587 that left from New York, heading to Santa Domingo. That was an American Airlines Airlines flight and we thought it was all happening again. Uh, and then uh, there was Flight 63 uh, that had the shoe bomber. Uh, that happened in December. So over a couple month period of time, uh, the American Airlines flight attendants, and flight attendants in particular had a, a real challenging and a difficult time. And what we found is that uh, the level and the rate of probable uh, post-traumatic stress disorder was around 18%. So you have these accumulation of incidents around that point in time and uh, a different accumulation uh, of tra tragedies in the air, you know, right now. And I have to imagine uh, in, in reading some of your research that it's one thing for a plane to go down because of mechanical error, but it's quite another for a plane to be taken down by terrorists, which has to be even more difficult for flight attendants right now. Yes, and, and particularly for the American Airlines flight attendants, I mean, part of what we heard anecdotally is that they had felt that they were potentially, you know, asked to be on the, the potential weapon of mass destruction. Mm. Uh, so you can certainly imagine what a difference in, in how that could impact them. And oftentimes planes are targets just to that point of being on this um, sort of flying missile wherever this missile lands. And then when you look at Malaysian air, the, the, the double tragedies in the last couple of months, how do you think, Professor, this should be addressed, if it should be addressed by, by the airline? Well, I think that uh, airlines, I'm sure, in the past decade have worked really hard to, uh, to try to uh, work on ways to help. Um, whether that's pre-incident preparation as well as uh, what happens afterwards. But, you know, one of the things that we uh, like to be able to do and one of the reasons we did our research is um, to be able to ask those questions uh, prior to the work that we had done. We were not familiar with any work that had been done with uh, airlines before. Um, and so we would encourage uh, people to do this type of work, um, whether it's with, you know, Malaysian Air, the Algeria Air now, whatever it may be, uh, to try to help see what we can do to learn more. As you pointed out in your research, it's one thing to be under distress. There is another when it comes to dysfunction. Professor Lating from uh, Loyola University, Maryland, thank you so much for joining me. As we talk about all these air tragedies coming up, we have.